So what is hip separation, the golf swing, and why is everybody talking about it? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is, and more importantly, I'm going to tell you how to do it and why it's good for your golf swing. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Cole. And hip separation, the separation of the hips. Separate from what? Why is it important and what is it going to do for my golf game? Well, we're going to go through those things right now. So first of all, hip separation means the separation of the hip movement from other segments of the body, specifically the upper body. So let me go ahead and just demonstrate this in slow motion so you understand what it is, and then I'm going to show you why it's important and how you can actually train it. So when I swing the golf club, there's things that are moving, right? My hips are moving. My shoulders are moving, my arms are moving. There's a lot of different things that are moving in the golf swing. But the ability to separate, the ability for one part of your body, i.e. the hips, to go one direction, while another part of your body, i.e. the shoulders are going a different direction, is the key to distance and creating club head speed. So, from the top, when, as I start to move to the top, I'm going to do some really slow motion, all right? When I start to swing the club to the top, my shoulders are turning, right? See, my shoulders are turning, my arms are moving. And at that moment, right before my arms get to the top, and right before my shoulders stop turning away from the target, if I can get my hips to start to unwind, see that? My shoulders are going this direction, my hips are going the other direction. The ability to do that is where the separation in golfers happens. And that happens literally like that. It's the snap of a finger. So, you might be saying to yourself, wow, how in the heck am I going to do that? How can I practice that? Because there's no way that you can actually feel it when it happens at the snap of a finger. So, two drills you can do to help you with that. We got to get two things happening. We got to get one thing going one direction while something is going a different direction. So let's start from the basics. So the first drill you're going to do is getting the lower body going towards the target. Okay, so here's how it works. You're going to take your regular setup, you're going to take your lead foot, and we're just going to bring it back to our trail foot. Simple. We're going to swing it up and step forward. Okay, now you can see I hit a little bit behind that, didn't I? So that's why I love this drill because it improves contact but it improves separation. Let me go ahead and do it again and I'm going to show you why it works. And then I'm going to show you an advanced drill to kind of tie this together. So here we go, right? Lead foot back, swing it up. Man, now that felt a lot better, okay? Even my guy Nick behind the camera was smiling when I hit that one because he knew that one was smile or that one was uh, solid, wasn't it, Nick, huh? That was really solid. <laughs> All right, so did you see what happened there? Pretty simple, right? All I did is I positioned my body in a way, okay, where my lower body, my hips were going this way as my upper body was going that way, okay? So it was literally like this, see? That separation, that is literally, let me do it one more time, then I'm going to give you an advanced way to do it. Here we go, six iron set up, lead foot back, step up, there it is, good. All right, now, that's the first way that we can do that. And i got to tell you this, if you haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe to us here at US Golf TV. Ring that bell so you know when we got a new video coming out. Also, check out our website at usgolftv.com. we got completely different content over there that's helping a lot of golfers play better golf. Now, how about an advanced way to do this? What about an advanced way? All right, here's how it works. So I like, I like to call this drill the swing step. So you're going to take your regular setup, okay? You're going to take your lead foot and bring it back to your trail foot. All right, we did that at the last time, all right? But I'm going to take my arms in the club, and I'm going to put them out in front like this. See that? So now, in one motion, I'm going to swing, and I'm going to step. Here we go, right? See that? What's happening there? You see the separation? My upper body, my arms are rotating while my lower body is going that way. That, my friends, is separation. So let me do it in a full swing. Then we're going to try it with the ball, which is a little brave. A little brave, but we're going to try it. So here we go. Okay, now the first time you do this, okay, you got to do it kind of slow. Because even my guy, Nick, behind the camera, he's wondering, where in the heck, Todd, is this ball going? So don't worry, Nick. It's going in the net. Here we go. Ooh, that was pretty solid right there. So what is hip separation and why is it important? Well, it gives you more club head speed, which gives you more distance. And it happens like that at the snap of a fingers. But these two drills right here will help you train that motion and help you create some more distance.